to work. Uh, Luke, uh, I'm really sorry. I guess I forgot. Uh, I should have called you. I'm not going to work today. What's the matter? Is, uh, are you sick? Is something wrong? No. No, I'm just fine. My Uncle Jeff is uh, leaving Port Charles with PJ today, and I wanted to go over to my mother's and say goodbye. <laughs> Listen, what are the chances of your opening this door so we can talk? I thought we were talking. Oh, I see. The old cold door treatment, eh? Uh-huh. Angry about seeing me yesterday at lunch with that gorgeous blonde, right? Who? Laura, open the door. Okay. You push and I'll pull. Right. Oh. Oh. Sorry. You know, you're very strange, Heather. You know, a person would almost think sometimes that you destroyed those gloves on purpose. On purpose? Don't be silly. Well, it is very, very strange. Look, Sarah, I really don't have time to discuss this with you. I've got a bus to catch, and if I don't get out of here in a hurry, I'm going to miss it. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Mrs. Grant is in the kitchen with PJ, and I thought she'd like some time alone with her grandson. Oh, I know how she feels. I'm going to miss him so much. Morning. Morning. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thought I'd get here a little early, but I'm sure we got him there on time. Oh, I'm glad you got here early. Do you feel as terrible about him leaving as I do? Well, I have had better days in my life, yes. Yeah. Oh, come on, have some sweet roll and hot chocolate. Oh, I'm not really hungry, thank you. That's my line. You want some hot chocolate? <laughs> no, thanks. Um, where's PJ? In the kitchen with Alice and Amy, who's saying goodbye. Who else is going to come by and kind of wave him on? I don't know. Lee and Gail said they might come over, and Laura said she'd definitely be. Well, sounds like a real bon voyage party. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, I'm going to cry. But we're going to keep it upbeat, aren't we, Rick? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, upbeat. You know, I am really sick of this door. Don't you think it's time we got it fixed? No. Actually, I don't. Because I love that door. Yeah, well, you would, of course. Because it's very unpredictable, like your own self. But with a door like that, you never know if you're going to get to work on time. But I'm not going to work today. Well, you, uh, you said that you wanted to talk to me about something. Yes, I, uh, I do. Well? Well, <laughs> how did you enjoy lunch yesterday? I loved it. Thank you. I had a good time, too. Thank you. It's nice. It's quite an, uh, interesting lady you were with yeah she is interesting isn't she mm, unusual oh unusual in for sure a sort of earthy way earthy okay you're getting a little too low now cool it Laura. i've got to get over to my mother's house all right wait a minute just i'll drive you over there i'd be happy to drive you because i would like to explain to you about earthy beautiful blonde emma lutz i don't care who you go out to lunch with I think you do. Look, I've got a lot of things on my mind to do. Let's All right, hold it right there. Freeze. Hands up against the wall. What? <laughs> Turn off the ignition. Park the car and don't throw away the keys. Fine. Why don't you tell me about Emma Lutz? I was quite impressed when I met her. Were you? Yes. Especially when you told her that uh, I was a member of high society. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did that, didn't I? Well, maybe I went a bit too far. Uh, poetic license. Hmm. I wondered how uh, the Webbers made it on the social register. Now I know. Mm-hmm. Guess that's about the only way. 
You see, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the point is that uh, Miss Lutz has information that I need. She's very hooked on high social status. And uh, so I do apologize. I used you and your mother to do that because I need information from her for Alex. You really don't have to explain anymore. Really? My goodness, what a change. You mean you don't want no, more No, I don't want to know. I've got a lot on my mind. Actually, if, if you really want to know, I'm, I'm pretty busy myself with some very special projects that Alex has me working on. And I, I'm not, I'm just not curious anymore, Luke. Close the door on your way out. I'll close the door. I'll nail the door shut. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Laura. Hi, Mrs. Grant. Hello. You know Luke Spencer, don't you? Yes, Luke. Mrs. Why don't you come Grant. on in? Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hi. I'm gonna miss you so much. And PJ, too. Well, that goes double for us. Uh, Dr. Jeff, hope you don't mind. I tagged along just to wish you luck. Thank you, Mr. Spencer. Put it. Oh, well, hello, Laura. Hello, Luke. Hello. Good morning. Laura. Uh, PJ needs a new shirt. He's got jam all over his front. Yeah, it wasn't PJ that uh, spilled jam either. It was me. <laughs> well, don't worry. I'll get a nice shirt out of his suitcase. It's upstairs. Uh, Mrs. Grant, could yes. I help you carry something? Oh, please. Excuse me. Well, uh, how, how have you been, Laura? Fine. Just fine. Working. I took today off, though, so that I could come over and say goodbye to Jeff and PJ. And Luke offered to drive me over. That was convenient for you? Yes, it was. But I would have been here even if I had to walk. You, oh, well, I, I, I got to give you to the lady. Come here, kid. Oh, you're a wonderful boy. What am I going to do when you're gone? Oh, well, Leslie, uh, I hate yeah. to say it, I hate to say it, but I think we got to share the wealth. I have to? Yeah, I think so. Okay, if I have to. Ready? You want to come in? Uh, no, uh, I think I'll just tidy up in here if you don't mind. I understand. You do what you want to do. Yes, it's uh, it's all very interesting working with Alex and Mr. Quartermain. Alex has always seemed so um, continental and glamorous to me. Well, she's a very capable woman, too. Yes, very. At, uh, at most everything. Hey, everybody. It's your last chance to... Not a... Hey, not a... Hey, not a... One at a time. One at a time. As adorable as you, PJ. Hey, I love it. Hey, you can just <laughs> let me... Hold you one minute and say oh, goodbye. Huh? Let me hold you one minute. Uh, get a kiss goodbye. Oh, huh? yeah, there's your cousin. You need to charge him for the kisses. There you go. You handled the kid well, Laura. Put my teeth mark. You what? You did? Did you? Put your mark. Oh. No? No? All right, let's break up this joviality. It's time for the old man to have a turn. Oh. Come here. Yeah, I guess you have. Come here. Get. Don't let me. Don't let me. Remember me? You used We're to bite me. miss you, boy. Uh, you say goodbye to those guys, huh? Bye, honey. Listen, it's kind of hard to know what to say when you're holding this guy. <laughs> We're at hard for all of us to know what to say, Jeff. Understand. Yeah. Well, I stopped off at the hospital and said goodbye to all the folks there. Tried not to make a big thing out of it, but uh, you know how that goes. But it is a big thing. They're going to miss you. I think Jeff is trying to get through this, you know, pretty I'm quick before we all fall you. apart. So, uh, shall we? I'm Let's give him a hand. Time. You're right. Well, yes. Happy occasion. Yeah. yeah so right. happy I could cry. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Good luck, Jeff. <laughs> Take care of that kid hey. at the winter, man. Thanks, Luke. Will. I'm going to miss you. Please keep in touch. Yes, I'll miss you because because because, because. I, because 
I'm not going to tell him this is my Now you talk to me. <laughs> if I can do anything for you, let me know, will Lee, you? Lee, thanks. I'll keep that in mind, baby. Yeah, Jeff, I love you. I'll we'll miss you Thanks, both. baby. Come on. Let's get out of here. You want to well, take the food, folks? Bye, honey. Take your shoe. Take your shoe. Is that cold out there, huh? Come here. Can you grab it? Uh, I'll get it. All right, let me get it. Okay. Hang on. Last year. Look, Jeff. This is our son, isn't it? Are you going somewhere, Jeff? Heather, what are you doing here? You're taking our son and leaving Port Charles, aren't you? Listen to me, Heather. I have a plane to catch, and I can't miss it. Your mother will explain everything. Don't you think you should be the one doing the explaining? Look, I am sorry if you're hurt by any of this, but you had no right to come to this house without warning us. Warning you? I thought I had friends here in Port Charles. Leslie, you were so nice to me when I came here over the holidays, the way you welcomed me into your home. Heather, I know you're upset, but this is just such a... Look, I'm sorry. I guess I should have expected this. It's my fault. My bus got in early, and I, and I just thought I'd come by and say hello. Heather, don't do I it. I a luncheon date with Amy. It, she's a good friend Heather, of... will you stop it? Look, your mother's in the kitchen. Go talk to her. There's time for that later. I want to say goodbye first. Because you're taking my son and leaving Port Charles, aren't you? Yes, I am. You aren't going to keep me from holding him one last time. Jeff, we got him. All right. You know, this is about the worst thing you could have done for him. Is it Jeff? I don't think so. Don't you think our son has a right to say goodbye to his mother? It's not going to help anything. You know that. It's going to help everything. You're so wrong, Jeff. It's going to help me get well. Jeff. I want this time with him more than anything. Maybe someday I'll be able to forgive you for being so cruel to me. Baby. Here we are. Hi, Mr. Ah, I thought you might like to say goodbye to the kid. Uh, Rick and Leslie are waiting out in the car. my son away from me. Heather, now, don't try to get yourself all upset about it now. I'm sure that Jeff will get a good job at a hospital and he'll take very good care of PJ. Where did he take PJ? I don't know. You're lying to me. You're lying to me. Everyone around you lies to me. Just watch your tongue, young lady. I mean, I'm your mother and I am due some respect. Respect? How much respect do you want for helping Jeff steal my son? It's not true, and you know it. Yes, it is. Why don't you try telling me where he is? Why don't you be on my side for once? Because Jeff had a right to try to protect his son by taking him away from Port Charles. So why can't you just accept that? He's my son. Don't I have anything to say about it? No, you don't have anything to say about it, at least not right now. 
you are just an outpatient. You have not proved that you can make it in the outside world. Well, I will prove it. I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to Jeff. I'll prove it to everyone. You know, this may surprise you, but that's going to be fine by me when you do. Because then there'll be time enough for you to get divorced, and then you can, you can try for combined custody of PJ. Honey, all I want is for you to get well so that you make the right decisions. Look, why don't we just be thankful that things aren't any worse than they are? There's another woman, isn't there? What are you talking about? Jeff has run off with another woman who's trying to steal my husband and now take my oh, son, Heather. too. Heather! Oh, wait till I find out who it is. She's going to regret ever knowing Jeff. And she'll wish she never heard of me. Just like Diana Taylor did. What do you mean? This is about Diana Taylor. changed a bit. You do remember the past. You were faking that amnesia. Oh, don't be ridiculous. No, what other lies are you telling me? You tell me, and right now. So, uh... Sure. Look, what do you say we start this whole day over? Okay? What do you want? Nothing. I don't even know why I said yes when you invited me. Laura, I know it was a rough day over there at your mom's. It was awful. It was just awful. I felt so sorry for Jeff. Don't worry about Jeff. He's going to be okay. He handled the whole thing real well. As well as anybody could, I guess. Heather. Heather seemed so pathetic. Pathetic? You... You feel sorry for Heather? I thought Heather was a really bad word among everybody in your family. She is. She is, but, uh... I don't know. I couldn't help it this morning. I just... I, I almost felt like I was on her side. Because of the baby. Yeah. I just put myself in her shoes, and I would never let anyone take my child away from me. You want children badly, don't you, Laura? You know I do. I think I let this conversation go a little too far. Really? Yes. Yes, listen, uh, I'm going to ask the guy to bring us a couple of menus. Please reconsider lunch, No, right? why don't you reconsider? What? Luke, this is driving me crazy. I told you I would wait and wait until you finally felt sure that I wasn't going to hurt you again. I remember you saying that, but well, that's not all the... remember this. No woman waits for any man forever. Write every night. Oh, well, you don't have to write every night. I can try, can I? Well, then I will too. I'll call every day. Oh, you better go broke. Now, I can't think of a better way to do it, lady. How about every other day? Oh, okay. <laughs> Probably it gets too big, okay? I love you. I love you. We're doing the right thing, Annie. Yes, we are. We are. Listen to me. You don't let Heather get to you when she comes to Port Charles, all right? No, don't you worry. I'll take care of myself. I think Rick and Joe are going to keep tabs on Heather's progress, all right? Right. He's probably over there right now. I'm going to calm her down. Flight 214, now boarding at gate 3. Flight 214, now boarding at gate 3. Well, 
Look, will you do me a favor? What do you Just stand right here. Just, can you do that? Just stay here. Sure. Don't come to the gate with me. Okay. It'll be easier. going to settle this and right now or I'm going to call Dr. Nelson and I'm going to tell him that you should not be an outpatient anymore. You'd really do that, wouldn't you? You hate me that much. Just that I can't stand it anymore. I lost my grandson today because of you. Is that supposed to make me feel sorry for you? Don't talk to me. Why don't you just leave me alone? <laughs> oh. Hello, Mrs. Grant. Hello, Joe. I, uh, just dropped by to see how Heather is. Yes, uh, she's right in there. Heather, Joe wants to talk to you. Hello, Joe. Hi, Heather. Did Jeff tell you I was here? Yeah, he did. Uh, your first visit is an outpatient, huh? Yes, it is. Heather... I know at times it must seem like the whole world is against you. I want to tell you that nobody here wants to see you hurt. And that includes me. Well, it's awfully nice of you to say that to me. I, I really appreciate it. Isn't that nice of Joe, Mom? Yes, very nice. Uh, why don't you go and make us some tea or something? Yes, I guess I could do that. I've got to say, you're taking this much better than I thought you would. Losing my son, you mean? Well, it's not exactly a terrific welcome home for you, is it? Well, I'm... I'm trying to keep the future in mind. When I'm well enough to be a good mother to my son. You know you don't have to worry about PJ. Jeff is going to take great care of him. I know that. Jeff loves our son very much. Then you can deal with how it is. How it is. I, I don't know what you mean. Jeff taking PJ and leaving town. What I care about right now, the most important thing to me in the world, is what's best for my son. And if I can't give him that, then Jeff has to. And I just, I'll try and forgive him for it one day. It's kind of a surprise, Heather. Why should it be? I only want what's fair. I may have made some mistakes in the past, but right now I only want to get well. It's the only way I'll ever be happy. You look really nice. Do you think so? Really very nice. I... New dress? No, I just don't get a chance to wear it very often. I just wanted to make sure that everything was okay, so... Well, I'm very grateful for you coming over here, Joe. I, uh, may be coming up to the sanitarium again, if that's all right with you. Could you? There's some questions I need to ask you. About Diana Taylor's death? Mm-hmm. Well, if there's anything I can tell you, anything, I will. Even if I push you too far, as I have in the past? It's all right. I, I understand. It only means you care about me, doesn't it? Uh -huh. 